Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hollow Duck and we are playing the Great Whale Road. Welcome back. We are back in Tillabur last time. We tried to show the people of England, the Saxons, um, that Jesus loves them. We did that by burning their shrines, killing their people and uh, generally behaving like good Christian folk. Um, so now we're in here. Um, took out the guards, I guess. So I guess this is our town now. Um, we also had a bunch of loot. We don't really have a lot of food. At this point, um, really want to keep the livestock, actually. Maybe take that one home again. That could be kind of nice. That one has at least some chickens and some cows. Hmm. Ah, we have a bunch of thralls that we just looted. Can be taken and sold anywhere along the coast. Not sure what we're going to do with these guys. I haven't, haven't really decided, but I guess we've got to stay overnight, so... Oh yeah, maybe they have something to sell. Um, wool warsling. Two to four damage, whereas this does um, two to three. It has more crit damage. Crit chance is fine. And this one also has a bleeding chance. I think we're going to take that one. Like, we're using her fairly often. So let's just take the wool warsling. It's probably as good as it gets for her. Um, let's sell that one. We do have the money for that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's the one that we sold. Nothing else to be had in here. Only slings. These guys are poor, I guess. Okay, so. Um, everyone is going to go to sleep for a little bit. I'm going to stay overnight. Uh, which I guess we had to do. Okay, let's see what they want. Our raid on Tillabur lasts more of the d most of the day. One building has not been plundered yet. Over its doorway, someone has engraved a cross. It is a church. Um, she says, by St. Peter's beard. These folk were Christian. Uh, let's talk to the captives. What is this? Captive woman speaks in halting bursts, choked with thick sobs. Missionaries from Merck came more than a year ago and built the church. Many of the folk in Tillabur have become Christians. The most still honor Freya in Woden. Tillabur has been trading with Merck ever since. They enjoyed good relations with the Christ followers until you came. Yeah, great. Come on! That was not my choice! I mean... What gives? I was... Ah! Screw you. Screw you. <laughs> Everyone is super sad. <sighs> I can't help them. Yeah, that's just how it goes. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of wine. I guess I could st still buy some, some spices, maybe. That's probably going to get rid of all my money, though. Don't really want that. Um, let's take some seeds. And then we're done. We're just going to return home. Um, could have been better. Could have been better. I was just following orders. Plus, as an excuse, I have, I have no freedom in this game whatsoever. <laughs> You're well informed and ill-prepared, driven by fear rather than holiness. You can admit that to yourself now, though it grieves you. The pain is like a dagger in your breast. You sell back to Ferna, your mind clouded by the knowledge that you have done a great evil. When you return, you discover God's punishment for your sin. Abba Gizelberta is dead. She was the one who sent me out to do that kind of crap. Like, and it, it really isn't in character. She was kind and friendly before that, and then she's like, No! Go to England! Kill everyone! This is good. I know it's gonna be. Yeah, we had five heroes defeated. Spent some silver, gained some silver. We have the clan. Uh, we have one population growth. That's good. We have 40% happiness only. That's not great. Food production. We have 682 left for winter. That's actually not too bad. I produced a little bit more than we consumed. We lost a bunch of population though. That was the main problem. Losing all the population is a problem. For sure. Okay, year six. I wonder how many years we're going to play. Uh, 
Okay, the Monastery Council. Now, upgrading. What do we need for the ship? We need two or four. We have enough rope. We have enough cloth. We have enough of a warband. Only craftsmanship is a problem. Yes. Ah, oh, no. Come on. Because we're missing one copper? Ah, uh, no. We're also missing some iron. Okay, so I gotta get some iron. I gotta need... I'm gonna bring nine iron. And I'm gonna bring one copper. And then, I guess, a bunch of wood, too. Like, if we do this, we're gonna end up with another eight. And the ship upgrade needs... 20. So I need to buy another 12 wood. Is what I gotta do. Okay, then. I see how it is. Definitely gotta, gotta push the food. Can I upgrade the farm? No, oh, no, right. I wanted to upgrade the traditions. I can do that. So now I should be able to upgrade the farms, too. Oh, yeah. And we actually need some thralls to upgrade those farms. I have three or five. We're gonna try to either... Plunder some or get some. We also only have 10 or 40 seeds. Okay, then. Let's put someone else on the farm, then. Um, our warfare power is pretty shitty. Yeah, our trading goods... Don't... We aren't really producing all that many trading goods. I, I think this is fine. Like... The husbandry is actually helping. Can we upgrade the husbandry? Ah, we have one of three livestock, so we need a little bit more of that. Okay, then. Okay, then. I think the yearly planning is is okay as it is. The warfare power isn't great, but should be enough. I'm gonna have the winter. Yeah, the North Sea has its winter storms. So we have the in electorate. With Abbas Gisalberta's passing, Furnas Monastery is left without a leader. You cannot afford to be divided now. You organize an election to take place the week after Christmas. It is the bishop's role to officially appoint Gisalberta's replacement, but he may be satisfied with the monk's choice. If the election is overwhelming enough to show the bishop that you are united behind the chosen leader, he will stand by it. The night of the election comes and you stand to speak. Hmm... I'm going to lead the monks in prayer. God will help them make the right decision. After your prayer, the elders chamber to voice their opinions about the election. The debate stretches across the night. Morning comes in and no closer to electing a new abbot or abbess. One of the elders suggests you wait for the bishop's appointment. Since the monks are unable to elect one of your own, it seems to be the only option. What? Come on. Ingu Berger brings news to you as you sit over supper one evening. Hari Togo, Lord Wari, has convinced the High King's Court that you are a menace and a danger to the ruling class. He cites your attack on the foreign shores of the Saxons as proof. She believes the High King will act against you if Lord Wari is not silenced or discredited. Uh, why is that guy so frightened? She considers the question before giving you her answer. Lord Wari is afraid, as is the king, that the church will usurp his power soon. They believe the church is taking away the power of kings and nobles. She frowns. I think that wouldn't be such a terrible thing. I will help you fight Lord Wari's rumors, but you must act quickly. When the ice melts, sail to his home in Dorestad. Confronting him is the only way to stop him from attacking you first. So, I guess I have no official position, but I still tell these guys what to do. Sounds fine to me. Have some glass, some wine, some wood. We have no population growth, but at least no one died, which is good. We can upgrade our people, uh, so let's do that. We have either increased crit chance by 25% for three turns. Holy crap, that is a really nice buff. But on the other hand, um, recover up to 10 HP. That's also really good. So I guess we're going to go with this on that war cry. Uh, and then we have you. Flanking fire or quick shots. One hit plus 10 accuracy for two turns. I think we're going to go with that one. That might actually be useful at some point. You. I'm going to 
give you... What is that? Target self. 3 damage protection, 15 block chance to self, and adjacent allies for one turn. That's pretty nice. Target self, minus 20 accuracy to everyone adjacent for one turn. Oh, so he... he yeah, fight dirty. He's gonna go uh, towards the enemies and actually kick up dust or what else. Ah, we're gonna go with that one. Some defensive power is probably good. What do you have? Adjacent allies gain plus 50% critical chance. Target self, plus 5 hit, minus 50 evasion, minus 25 block chance. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Target enemy, minus 2 movement, minus 15 evasion. Break the enemy's weapon for 2 turns. And then it just gets magically resmithed, I guess. Less movement or no weapon. I'm not sure if I'm going to use either of those. Well, let's go with that one, I guess. We've been using her as a debuff option for quite a while. She's actually starting to become disloyal. I just wish I would learn a little bit more about her so that I can make decisions that keep her loyal. Just as a thought. Yeah, we have no more people. She's an assault with an axe. The things are the same. Oh, beheading. Kill an adjacent enemy warrior just with one hit. That is pretty cool, I gotta say. <laughs> um, I really like her. Why? Why can't we? Why can't we be friends? Yeah, I mean, she likes to drink meat, and I actually allowed her to drink the meat, but still, she's kind of unhappy. Okay, then. Guess I gotta live with that. Warrior coat with scale mail. I mean, that's super heavy. We have a bunch of money, though. Like, this is expensive, but we can still live with it. We've got the Huskal armor. Damage protection, 9. Do we have to take anyone on this travel? Huh, yeah, that's fine. That also kind of suggests that we take the warrior coat with that so she can continue to fight. Do we have anything else? Long warrior coat. Yeah, that's not all that great. The house call armor is really expensive. Like, freaking expensive. The priest's cloak, we already have that. Warrior coat with scale mail. I mean, that gives a 10 minus 10 evasion, but it's also a lot of protection. It's more protection than the Huskal armor, actually. Even though these guys get some DP regen. Yeah, tell you what, we're gonna take the warrior coat with the scale. And we're gonna give that to... Well, actually, we have 30 evasion. Because of that coat, I guess. Um, what do you have? 26 evasion. So we're gonna give it to Rikigund. Yeah, have that, since your evasion value is not all that great. You should actually be able to survive a little bit longer with that. Um, wolf coat. I guess we're gonna give her that one. Yeah. Come on. And then we can sell the warrior coat, I guess. 423. That's not enough to do much more. Let's still try to buy the Frankish Sparta. Yeah, tell you what. We're gonna buy the Frankish Sparta. Give that to her. Yeah. And then we can sell the Alemannic Sparta. Right. Not much else. We only have the heavy Welsh bow. No! Actually, we don't. Crap. 3 to 5, 3 to 4. I mean, we're not using him super heavily, but this would have been good. Yeah, I've, I've no, no other way to get even more money. That's just how it goes. That's all the money I have. For now. Well, I live with it. Um, let's move on, then. 
Travel to Dorestad. Let's go. Now, we need her. You're gonna come, you're gonna come. Just the usual suspects. Actually... I want to take him instead of her. Like, he has a lot more HP and stuff, so... Uh, and she she was going down most of the time. Which was not, like, great. Um... Um, so you're gonna have the boar hunting spear. And then for armor sets, you're gonna get the heavy coat. You have the heavy coat, the other guy has the heavy coat. And you can just have the balanced hunting spear. Would be really nice if we could get a second good spear. Well, that's probably not gonna happen. So, again, set journey. Um, you're gonna come... You're gonna join, you're gonna join, you're gonna join, you're gonna join. Okay. 16 days, that's gonna be a long travel. Okay, load the goods. Um, iron, lead, pelts. We have a bunch of stuff. I don't really want to take most of it, though. <laughs> I mean, we've never used the whalebone. Uh, we don't need the glass, so let's just take that with us. Let's take the ivory. The thralls we're going to keep. The livestock we're going to keep. Um, rope, I guess, we can keep. I only want to, I only want to take the minimum amount of food. Like, um, yeah, like eight or something. We're gonna, we can hunt. It's fine. Uh, we definitely don't want to take that away from our villagers. Mm, nothing else really that I want to take. I mean, I could probably get rid of the pelts, but I'm pretty sure we need that for something. Uh, we're just going to take five tools or something. We don't really have all that much trading good stuff. We do have some dyes. Nah, okay, I'm going to leave those behind too. It's fine. It's totally alright. So, let's begin the journey. The problem is that we will have to wait a long time until we can put Rikigund into the or Silver Shield into the fight. Ingo Berg of the Nimble is as practice in the affairs of the King's Court as she is with a blade, and she will travel with you. She urges you to strike Lord of Wari swiftly and without mercy. That is the only way to quell the rumors and protect your monastery. So I'm going to demonstrate that I'm no threat at all by being as much of a threat as I can be. <laughs> that sounds like sound advice. One night, Haribert asks to debate with you over one of the tenets of Christianity, martyrdom. You cannot understand why it would be better to die for a cause than to live and fight for that cause again. Mm, I'm going to explain my views. Listens and poses thoughtful but respectful counterpoints. At the end, you don't agree with one another, but you've enjoyed your debate. Okay, that's good. He likes me more now. He's more loyal. That's good. And Wimbrugia. So now we can start hunting for stuff. Because um, we need money. We need money to equip our people better. We've been doing alright in the last couple of uh, fights, but... We can always do more. Are they? Do they have anything that I want? Let me just have a look. Old Worsling Warrior Coat. No, no. Nah, they don't really have anything that we want, which is good. Um, I'm happy about that. Do you have anything to trade? They have the livestock and they have the thralls, but the thralls are outrageously expensive. Mm, I could buy some wood, though. Might not be a bad idea. Like we're gonna need wood everywhere. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. We're also gonna go out to hunt a little bit. Um, because we probably wanna bring back some food. Food production in the village is not like great. So stay overnight. And then let's do that again. Twenty-one. 
Well, that's not great. I gained some leadership. I'm not sure why. I guess we're gonna do that one more time. Come on. Give me the Aurochs. 15. I mean, come on. Well, I guess we're through with that, though. I guess we've milked that place for all that um, there is. Let's rest. That costs us two food. No, one food only. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I'm gonna go for another night. And we're gonna go. So people have more morale. They're happier. Pretty sure this is gonna be a tough fight against the Duke. I'm not sure he's gonna see reason. Should I, really tell, should I really have put myself forth as the leader of these people? I'm not sure. Just didn't seem right. <laughs> okay, that's a Frisian stronghold. I mean, why am I being blamed for the attack in England? I was just sent there. It's not like I said, hey, send me and kill a bunch of people. Because that's my calling. No, nope. the Evers did that. Hmm, they're selling the tools really cheap. They also have some iron. I think we need a lot of iron, if I remember that correctly. I think I need like 9 iron or something. And 21 might be a little bit much though. I can't even afford that. Like seven away. Yeah, we're just gonna keep those nine that we need. That's fine, I guess. Okay. Um, do you have anything in here that I might want? Nope. Okay, then. How, how heavy are we laden at this point? We could still take 42. So one, one hunting expedition should probably do that. Stay. Oh, yeah, 41 food. Okay, we lose one, which is quite nice. Should we stay overnight? We're gonna lose another one, but. No! No! Oh, come on. <laughs> Very clever. Very clever. I wish there was a. like a confirmation window. Do you really wish um, to just stay overnight without doing anything? I mean, I'm, I'm getting this. Why don't I get the other one? Just like saying, everyone is unassigned. We really want to waste your time like that. Then I have to say yes, because I'm a very clever man. Food is going out. I also don't have any money. We really need to find a place where we can sell all our food stuff. That's Wizard Antwerp. The walls of stone. We already fought with these guys before, I think. Was it Antwerp? Yes, it was Antwerp. We attacked these people. If I remember that correctly. So you have coat with chain mail for the heavies. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's 740. I'm not sure we can actually make that happen. Nah. Just paying one for food. Even if I sell all my other stuff, that's still not gonna work. That makes me sad. Yeah, that makes me super sad. Hmm. Not sure what to do there. Guess we're just gonna continue on. Push on. I mean, I could still just sell all the stuff at one. We could just do that. Just sell it and then go hunting for a couple of days. But we're still gonna gain a fair amount of food. Like, even if we do that one or two times. Yeah, we gain 50 food. And if I do it a second time. So we're just gonna make 100 bucks per per village. Yeah, with an, an Aurox as well. <laughs> so let's do that. Gain another bunch of food. Okay. That went pretty well, I'd say. Um, do I want to sell more? I don't think so. We still have 10 additional space. 
But ideally, if I can, I actually want to bring some food back home. Like a hundred food, um, having that or not having that is actually quite a difference. Okay, so let's stay overnight. Let's get rested. We're only paying one food for all our guys. That's pretty nifty. Make everyone well rested and then we're actually gonna leave again. Okay, let's set sail. Goodbye. Haribet has begun questioning the navigational skills of you and your crew. He's dubious about how you hug the coast and asks if you're frightened. We're gonna persuade him. We know what we're doing, dude. Two of you debate long into the night. At the end, he's satisfied that you know your trade. He thanks you for the intelligent conversation. Okay, then. He really likes me now. He's super loyal, I guess. That's good. If only I could make Rickigund loyal. That would be nice. Well, we know. Ah, oh, campfire. I don't think we want to. I don't think we're gonna bother. Like we can't really hunt all that much. Think it's okay. Yeah, we're gonna go and check out Vittler though. A market in the marsh. Sounds very promising. I'm actually glad that these guys still are open for business, even in the middle of the night. Guess I appreciate that. Hello, hunting spear, balanced hunting spear, heavy woodcutter axe. Like, this is way better than what she has, but we're not using her all that often, so not sure if we should spend the money. Mm, still only one for the food. A lot of money for the whalebone, though, so you can have that for sure. Yeah, we should be able to... No, don't cancel the current trade. Sell that whalebone. Um... Yeah, we'll be able to get a lot of food here. So let's just sell the sell the food that we have. Yeah, have it. We need the money. It's really weird that all the trade goods that we have aren't as valuable as just sending people manually to to hunt. I guess that's just how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Have our food. Yay! And we gain beehives. Okay, burn some grass and herbs, then open the scabs. That always works. Gain some honey. And 28 food and a pelt. That's also good. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna sell the honey. We don't really need that. As of yet, we have a bunch of pelts with us. Right, we could also sell those. So that we have a little bit more space. No, I don't want to cancel the current trade. Actually, trade that. So we're now almost at 400. That's good. Let's go for one more hunting adventure. And then we're gonna... And we're gonna sleep a little bit. Okay, so we're getting another 30 food. Uh, maybe one more. People are gonna be mad. Yay, Partridge. Let's stay focused. Two food, 17 food. Right, now we really gotta sleep though. Uh, otherwise people are gonna get mad, I guess. Let's make that happen. Stay overnight. And again. Stay overnight, and then we're just gonna pack it in and leave. Okay, we have only five crew. Like, we have only five warriors. I guess, um, because we're taking more heroes. Guess that makes sense. Okay, let's set sail. We're done here. Goodbye! The crew is rowdy with boredom and ribald tales today. Hill proclaims that none of the soft folk in the monastery could care for themselves without the workers they pay. 
You start to grow annoyed as he claims you all would have starved and frozen to death by now if not for the villagers. I'm gonna challenge him to a fishing competition. <laughs> Why not? I'm bored. Helperic was a fisherman before he became a warrior. He easily bests you, sporting six fish to your none. Nevertheless, he was happy for the distraction from tedious sailing. Okay, that gained his loyalty. That's good. Makes me happy. Hmm. Come on, give me a port. Losing some food. And win Dorestad. Alright then. Just waiting for the save thingy. Yeah, we actually have the save thingy. So, I think we're going to find out what's, what happens in Dorestad in the next episode. I think for now, I'm going to end it here. After reading this, I guess. Dorestad is the source of Lodovari's wealth and influence. It is a wealthy, popular marketplace that connects the North Sea with the trading routes to the Middle Sea and Byzantium. Right, we're gonna we're gonna try our best to break his influence and all that in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing. Thanks and bye bye.